Glimmers of relief down in Haiti as much needed aid finally reaches the people, but for some it is too little too late. Kate Snow once again from Port-au-Prince. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. You're right. There are pockets of people now getting food and water that they so desperately need. In the last 24 hours, another 250 tons of relief have arrived here, but there are still so many people without and living out in the streets. We've seen isolated incidents of violence now over that food and water and people fighting even with gunfire in some parts of town. Uh, yesterday, we ran into a pickup truck filled with people we thought had just been pulled from the rubble. That's what it looked like, but it turned out they were looters. Uh, being arrested who had been going through the rubble of a, a nicer house. They were yelling at us, we didn't do anything wrong. That's what they're yelling there. Uh, at the White House, President Obama stood with former Presidents Bush and Clinton promising much more help. Uh, and saying that they need to do more. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton made a quick visit to the airport here. She also promised relief and defended the slow pace of all of the efforts. I sat down with her and we'll have that interview coming up, as well as a reality check on just how fast the convoys are getting through. And when the Secretary of State left here, she took about 50 Americans back with her, one of two flights uh, full of Americans that went back yesterday to the States. We watched these two little boys wave and they were yelling, bye bye, daddy as we watch families being separated now by this disaster. Just so much heartbreak here, but despite the heartbreak, there are still signs of hope. There are still five days after this earthquake, people being pulled out of the rubble. It is absolutely incredible. And Dan Harris has been out watching some of these rescue efforts. You've seen some people being pulled out. Absolutely, it's incredible. Good morning to you. It's amazing that, as you say, five days after, nearly five days after this happened, people all over this city are being rescued alive, even as we speak this morning. And some of the individual stories are simply extraordinary. These are pictures of a two-month-old baby on her way to the hospital after almost four days in this hillside of rubble. She was brought to the United Nations Hospital by Kathy Claridge, who's working for ABC News here in Haiti. Doctors treated the baby's wounds and gave her a name, Jean. It's unbelievable that after three and a half days in the rubble that this baby would still be alive. Even at this late date, live rescues are happening all over town. At this crumpled apartment building, they're hearing voices coming from out of the rubble. There's like seven people in life. There are seven people alive There's in seven here? seven people in life inside here, they ask for water. And from under five stories of a collapsed office building, a woman named Christine is sending desperate text messages to her friends. She sent the text that said what? That she is alive, hurry up, she can't take it anymore. Hurry up, I can't take it anymore. Okay. The search and rescue team from Miami-Dade County is on the scene. Four days later, it's pretty remarkable if they're alive. There have been cases of longer, so we're going as if we can get people out alive. That's why we're here. We're going to do that as long as it takes. Some of the survivors are dazed and distraught. This woman was pulled alive from her apartment building. Her children were not. She has eight children, but her eight children didn't make it. I'm so sorry. There is one more twist in the story of baby Jean. After her initial treatments at the hospital, she took a turn for the worse. So doctors put her on a jet to Florida. She was the first Haitian to be evacuated for treatment. When I put the baby on the seat, for the very first time, the baby gave me this big, wide smile. Oh, that is such good news. And how is she doing? Do we know? Well, I can tell you this. Kathy from ABC News was right. able to get in touch with her mother. Yeah. The baby's mother was actually with the baby at the time uh, that the uh, earthquake hit. Uh -huh. The mother survived and was unaware that her baby had also survived. So Kathy was able to get in touch with her and oh, tell her that her baby she was alive. She thought her baby had died? Absolutely. She oh, was, as you might imagine, breaking overjoyed my heart. when she heard the news. Tell me about the Hotel Montana. The, the the owner, yeah. you were the other night with her son looking everywhere right. for her. And this is incredible. We were told that the, one of the co-owners, a woman by the name of Nadine Cardozo, was dead. We were told that she was dead. Despite having, we had spent some time with her son as they were frantically looking for this woman. And, and he said that they had heard her voice. So apparently they went through a real low point when they thought she was dead. Overnight, she was pulled out alive. She's in the hospital with her husband and doing well. Of course, you know, the, the, the brutal overall context right. on this is these are great stories, but they are unfortunately the exception. Very, very rare, but yeah. still giving us a little bit of hope. Absolutely. Dan, thank you so Pleasure. much.